Review of wages, commissions, tax rate, owning a business, and interest rates. These are very important subjects. I'd like to share a bit of some of the work that I have done. I've worked as a tool and die maker. I've been a foreman of a tool and die shop, a tool designer, operations manager for a large tool and die stamping company. And these are some of the work that I've done. And I'd like you to show a little bit what tool and die making is. Now, this is a part over here. As you can see, this is a, what we call a hinge. You say, where would in the world would you ever use such a big hinge like this? Well, this is used for conveyor belts. You put the belts in here, then you put the rivets in here. But how would you make something like this? How would you make a hinge? Well, I did most of the design work on this hinge die. The company where I was a foreman, we made this tooling. And this is, this is the progression, it's called a progression die. You start with a big coil of steel over here that unwinds. It goes into two feeder rolls. And then we stamp out over here, put the holes in. Then we put this little cavity in here. Then notice we bent the tab over here. Right over here, there's a tab. Then we bend this down. And then notice on the bottom here, then we kick it in over here. And this is what I call, every time the power press is boom, 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 it just progresses. One station. And over, and over here then, we have an adjustable, what we call a micro switch, it's an electrical switch. And when this part hits that, and we can adjust it to any length we want, when it hits, hits it, it operates what is a solenoid, it's a magnetic device, that it, when, when the, gets the electricity, the solenoid goes in and it cuts it off and it just automatically boom, 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 another one makes. Depends if you want 20, 30, whatever many hinges you want on that, on this hinge. And that's how uh, tooling works. Now here's another example. And anything that has metal, stamped metal. Now this is a scale. Now you can see it's bent, has ridges in here, as you can see over here. On the bottom, there's holes on it. And that's made the handle. You can see the handle. It's a sheet metal handle. A lot of things on the car. This is a stapler. And you open up the stapler, this is made, that's tool and die making, over here. And there's parts in here. That, this is a casting. The bottom here is a casting. But the sheet metal parts, and even where the staple is bent, is tool and die making. Let's look at a stamping die in operation. This is a power press with a die stamping out a part. Every time the press comes down, a part is made. Steel from a large coil is fed into the die. Notice how the part is bent. Tool designers had to figure how to build the tooling to make this part. Think of all the math that was used to design and build this tooling. Here is another large power press and stamping die in operation. 21 years ago, I started a business called Reliable EDM. And you can see it on our website. It's www.reliableedm.com. And I built it on the principle of the golden rule. Do unto others as you want them to do unto you. In other words, if I were a customer, how would I want to be treated? And I said to thee, they would want a quality product, they want good service, and if I could keep my prices low, be competitive. And within four years, we became the largest in Texas. After nine years with 15 YEDM machines, we became the largest YEDM job shop west of the Mississippi River. Today, we have over 50. And I just want to stress the importance of thinking about other people, you know, and, and pleasing them, pleasing your customers. I tell people often, you know, I'm really not the boss. My customers are. The minute I stop pleasing my customers, I'm out of business. And so it's important in, in running a business, and I will stress this, that's why it's important to know math. My two sons run the business. One is a mechanical engineer. We live in the world of algebra, geometry, and trig in our business. We're constantly using that. 
And you got to be good at that. You can't give our customers, oh, oh, well, we made a mistake here, we made a mistake here, we made a mistake here, and oops, 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 oops. You know, we'll be out of business fast. So you have to know your math. You have to be accurate. And so I encourage you to learn this math because it's crucial if you want to be successful in your life. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play, and we'll continue with the next lesson.